Hi, we're here with Liz Riley Young from SAS, and your question for this afternoon is, what exciting innovative technology have you seen which can have a really phenomenal effect on education? Well, it's actually not really a new and innovative technology. It's actually a technology from the 1960s, and it's considered cloud computing. I think that the uh, opportunities that the cloud presents in education is a phenomenal opportunity to not get to get uh, ubiquitous computing out there in the environment. Um, what's happening right now in school districts is they're struggling with budgets, even with stimulus funds and IT resources. I think one of the greatest things that they can do right now is take advantage of those things that are either software as a service or hosting in the cloud. And so if it's been around, if cloud computing in different formats has been around since the 1960s and 70s and 80s and 90s, is there, um, is there anything that, uh, that's different about it today than, than was and existed, say, 10 or 15 years ago? Um, I think when you talk about like the things that are disruptive, the things that are going to happen that are different today than were, say, available back, back in the 60s, is this ability to innovate because of the cloud. People like the Google apps, the things that are happening with Google Education Docs, um, Amazon's Elastic Cloud right now. This is a platform now that is readily available. People aren't threatened by it. They're not scared by it. It's, uh, they're not as concerned with security as they had been in the past. And I, I, again, I, I think it's just a great opportunity and as a platform for either la a collaborating, partnering, learning, and even developing. So I, I know we originally said just one follow-up question, right. but you, you talked about a number of reasons about reducing costs about the cloud, but are there, um, are there other reasons why the, why the cloud is having, you see the cloud having a, a big impact? Um, if I think about the impact that the cloud can have, I, mean, I think about some of the products that are out there. I mean, I'm going to do a plug for SAS now because you put, did this for me. Um, you know, we've got a product that we want to put computing out there. We want people to be using SAS in higher education. How best to do that? Make sure that cost is not a barrier in the installation and upkeep process is not a barrier. What do you do? You put it out in the cloud. That way people don't have to manage it. You don't have to maintain it. And the, you keep the cost low so that folks are in, in being innovative and developing. Okay, well, Liz, thank you very much, and Thanks. have a good rest.